Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Carmen. I am a professional makeup artist and in today's video, I'm going to do another Christmas look. This time it's going to be the high-end makeup edition. I did another video like this one. Um, it's a very classical kind of a Christmas party look. Eyeliner, red lips, and it's a full face of drugstore makeup. So if you want to go check that one out, then please do, but only after you finish watching this one, all right? I'm watching you. I'm seeing you. Do not skip this video, all right? Because it's going to be a good one. I hope at least. <laughs> all right, before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe, press that like button, and uh, without further ado, uh, let's dive in. I mean... <gasps> Oh, this is um, also, uh, you know, tutorial. Please follow me for more hair hair disaster looks. Anywho, we're gonna have to sit through this, the whole video, because I think this is the only way to pin my hair to still have it looking nice at the end of the video, you know, for the final look and the photos. So we're just gonna accept this side of my hair and move on okay i'm already moisturized i'm trying out a new moisturizer today and it feels nice i don't know well, let's see i'm going to start by applying the hollywood flawless filter to the high points okay of course i forgot something and then my wet wipes <laughs> hopefully my husband will come back from uh, grocery shopping so i don't have to get up okay my high points meaning the tops of my cheekbones Why am I so sleepy? It's only 5 p.m. Like, seriously, though. The bridge of the nose. I don't like to apply highlighter on the tip of the nose. And I think I said this in some previous videos. But I find that to be very unflattering. I don't like it at all. Like, really, I just... No. For me, no. <laughs> I mean, my face is shiny enough. So I, I don't want to add some, some highlight there. And also, I find that it makes the nose look bigger. You know, when you highlight something, you actually bring it forward to the attention of the world. I mean, who wants to bring their nose, you know, to the attention of the world? But if you do, it's your problem. It's your thing. It's, uh, it's what you do. I don't care. I'm just saying what I do. For my foundation, I'm going to use a seamless skin one from Lisa Eldridge. And I'm going to pump two pumps. Uh, on the back of my hand. I think I'm gonna need one more. I have a full review on this product if you're interested. It's pretty long, <laughs> but you know, I want it to be very thorough, so I'm just gonna apply it like this with my finger and then I'm gonna spread it out with a brush. This is going to oxidize a little bit, so it's going to change a little bit the color and it's going to match me better because it's a bit light when I first apply it, but then it looks uh, looks very much like my skin color. And I swear to God, I'm going to say this again. I said it in a review as well. I have never, ever applied a foundation faster in my life. It just truly looks seamless, <laughs> very quick. You don't have to work a lot at blending it out, at just like meshing it with your skin, making it look nice. So I really appreciate that. So I'm just going to add a little bit more, just half a pump, and I'm going to build it up a little bit um, here on my jaw area, just because this is where I always need some more coverage. Is it obvious on camera? Now it's lighter. Can you see when I'm applying it? Then it's going to change color. Now I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I really miss this product, so I'm gonna use it today. And I have here two shades. I have Vanilla and Swamp. Just using the other end of the brush. By the way, I have a video on my favorite brushes, if you're interested, and if you wanna watch it. I kind of um, tend to use, not tend to, I use the same brushes in every video because, you know, I paid a lot of money for them. <laughs> I love the brushes, so I'm just gonna use what I love, what I think it's uh, what I think it's best for me. 
I'm planning on buying some new brushes though. Um, I have my eye on some uh, beauties, but they're a bit out of my price range right now. I can't afford them right now. So I'm just gonna, you know, wait until I can afford them. Okay, I took a break because my husband came back from grocery shopping and uh, of course Dustin was there to help us get the groceries out of the bags. He just wanted to get into the bag. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, so I did foundation, concealer, and now it's time for the eyes. I'm going to come back to the concealer part after I finish my eyes. Dustin is using the litter box. He always finds these moments, you know, when I film to do things like this. <sighs> Oh man, it's gonna be a moment. So I'm gonna take another break, I think. Okay, so I'm making sure first that I have no creases and now I'm gonna use the MAC Teddy Cole. This is uh, one of my favorite pencils to use um, to sketch a shape before I do the eye look. So I'm just gonna apply it at the base of my lash line first. And I'm just gonna go around the eye and I'm gonna apply it on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm gonna apply it also on the waterline. So applying it here in my inner corner. And I'm gonna use this flat brush to blend. I'm gonna extend this here upwards and in an angle, almost like doing a very thick wing. You can keep a very rounded shape if uh, that's your preference. So it's gonna look like this blended. Now I'm going to apply the pencil in the crease. Then I'm going to connect the line here. Now again, using the flat brush, I'm just going to go over it. And this is how it looks right now. Don't forget to sharpen your, uh, your eye pencil before doing this, okay? I'm going to use the Natasha Denona bronze palette just because I think it's perfect for a Christmas look. It also has these very beautiful golds right here. I'm going to take suntan on this Hakuhoto brush. This is a small compact brush that's very good uh, for detailing. And now with it, I'm just going to go over the blended eye pencil. Applying it on the lower lash line. I have some more of that shade on my brush, and now I'm gonna go very, very gently in the crease. I'm gonna connect it here. Now I'm gonna take this angled brush. This is um, a bit thick and it's a very stiff brush, and I'm gonna take suntan again, and I'm just gonna apply it here. And then I'm going to do the line here. Just wanted this to be a bit stronger here. So these are the eyes. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is important when you want to blend something to have a clean brush. And I'm just going to very softly take it over the edges and this is how it looks now when it's blended now i'm going to take the shade true bronze on my pinky just like this this is such a such a beautiful shade and i'm going to press it right in the gap here in the middle i'm 
Now I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is a clean one. And I'm just gonna stretch that true bronze shade and just blend it on the eyelid. And I'm doing this where the gap is. I'm basically filling the gap with that shade. So this is more um, of a graphic look and the crease is very defined. If you're not into this, then just don't do this part right here in the crease. Now with the same brush that I've used before, I'm just gonna take the shade Magma and I'm going to intensify this part right here. Now I'm going to use the first brush and I'm just going to smoke that eyeshadow a bit. I remember now about this palette that it doesn't have a shade to use in your inner corners. So I'm just going to use a little bit of highlighter. And I have here the iconic London Illuminator in the shade Original. So this is extremely metallic and uh, it packs a punch like it's super, super uh, visible. So I just put a little bit of it and now with this pencil brush, I'm going to apply it here. Now I'm gonna take my finger and just tap it. I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick. Now I'm gonna apply the roller lash from Benefit. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, clean up underneath my eyes, maybe apply some false eyelashes, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I am back, and uh, I'm going to powder underneath my eyes now. I have here the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. I'm just gonna pour a little bit here on the cap, and as usual, I'm gonna use an eye brush, saturating the brush with the powder, making sure the powder gets in the bristles. I'm checking again to see if I have any, any creases. Yep. By the powder. I'm gonna take some more of that powder and I'm just going to powder in the center of my face because I'm gonna use some cream products. I really want to get rid of the shine here around the sides of my nose, a bit on the chin and my forehead. I'm gonna use now the Chanel bronzer. I'm just gonna take it from the back of my hand with this Hakuhoro G5557 brush. Was I right? Yeah. There are a lot of fives in this uh, in this brush name. Whenever I feel like I I'm applying way too much product in this area, I'm just gonna move to the other one and apply some there too. So I'm going to apply some on the sides of my nose and here at the base of my hairline, just blending it upwards towards my hair. And now my face looks like it has shape. It doesn't look flat anymore. Now I'm gonna use this RCMA blush palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of this one also. And I just made my own custom blush and it's right here. But before I'm gonna apply some more highlighter and I'm gonna use again the Charlotte Tilbury Holly Flawless Filter and just apply a little bit on the back of my hand. And again, I'm gonna apply it to the highest point just to intensify that. I thought I didn't blend here uh, the bronzer, but it's actually just uh, just an old, Acne mark. I'm gonna use again the iconic London Illuminator and I'm just going to pinpoint a little bit just at the tops of the cheekbones and I'm gonna use a very very small amount it's because this is a bit too metallic so I'm just gonna place it right here just in the middle and now I'm gonna apply the blush I'm gonna take it from the back of my hand with this Real Techniques setting brush This is a bit too much, but it's fine. I have showed you previously in other videos how you can fix this. I'm just gonna put 
a little bit on the top of my nose just to tie everything together and I really love this look. This is where the sun naturally hits your face. So right here at the hairline and on the top of the nose and it, it just looks like you've been in the sun. It's a, it's a healthy look. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna apply it a bit just here, just here in the middle. And if you were a little bit heavy handed with the blush, just take the, the brush that you have used to apply your foundation and just go over it just a little bit. And this will tone it down. What I also like to do with the foundation brush is just drag it like this underneath the cheekbone just to make sure that it didn't go too far down with the bronzer just because this drags all of your features down and it ages you. We want a bit of a lifting effect with the, with the makeup application. So it just lifts all of your features up and snatches you. I'm gonna take a little bit more powder and I'm just gonna saturate this brush with it. This is a Hakuhoro J5521. And again, I like to make sure that the powder really gets into the bristles. So when you apply the powder, it's an even application and you're not gonna apply too much just in one spot. I'm just gonna go over my forehead again. And I'm also going to apply some powder right here underneath the cheekbone. I want this part to stay shiny and dewy and just like juicy. I, I love this type of a look, but um, I also want the makeup to last, you know, being, uh, being a Christmas look. If you find that your skin is too oily, then I don't recommend you to use cream products, uh, you know, for a lasting makeup. You might want to use some, um, some powder products like a powder blush, a powder bronzer, or you can just set everything with powder. But because I have combination skin, I mostly get very oily here. So the cheeks are not a problem. Well, only if you wear a mask, I mean. I want to also perfect a little bit the skin. I have some pimples around here. So I have a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna use this brush. You can find this type of brush at an art store. This one is from Hakuhoro. You don't necessarily need one from Hakuhoro. <laughs> so I have this pimple right here. This annoying one here that really hurts as well. Oh, and there's, there's a hair there. It's from the brush. Surprisingly, it wasn't a hair from Dustin. I always have hair from him on my face. I swear, it's everywhere. And I'm just gonna let the concealer sit for a bit. Then I'm gonna blend it with my finger and I'm going to set it with powder. Maybe I should also do the mark that's here and it's like, I've had this mark for such a long time now, it's really annoying me, you know, that's refusing to just go away. So I'm gonna give you two options. I'm gonna do a nude lip and then I'm gonna do a, a very bold lip a dark red, so uh, you can choose for yourself which one you wanna wear. I'm gonna line my lips using Whirl from MAC. And I like to fill in the outer um, parts of my lips, basically, just because it gives a bit of an ombre effect. And now I'm gonna apply Honey Look from MAC. So this is the look with the first lip option. Now I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you the second one. And now I'm gonna apply this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Extra Saucy. I don't know how well this is gonna go with my sweater just because it's kind of a, a different kind of red, but it's fine. And I'm gonna apply it using a lip brush. This is actually a brush that I bought at an art store.
I honestly haven't worn a liquid lipstick in a very long time and I feel like my lips are dying so I'm just gonna apply some of the lip oil from Jouer on top because I feel like I cannot even speak with how my how my lips are feeling they're super super dry like raisins and this is with the lip oil on top and I think I like this a little bit more <laughs> I felt like my lips were dying like literally dying I'm not exaggerating. I hate it when my lips get dry. I don't even know what was in my head, like using a liquid lipstick, but I haven't used one in a while and I really love the shade of this one, but man, it was really drying. Anywho, this is, uh, this is the finished look. So which one of the lip options is your favorite? The nude one? the bold one i would really love to know so maybe you can tell me in a comment and, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video then uh, please don't forget to subscribe press that like button i appreciate having you here so so much and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye